What role do essential oils play? Well, as a rule of thumb, depending on the seriousness of the element, first look to a natural solution. Look to essential oils. Take your illness to the medical professionals, but use essential oils and natural remedies to care for yourself and your overall wellness. Essential oils can help improve your wellness on many levels, both emotionally and physically. Wellness improves your body's potential to heal. I believe that, you know, right essential oils used in the right way, you know, 95% of everyday's health and wellness needs are covered. So, can the essential oils cure cancer? Mm. Crazy questions. Who writes these? <laughs> Look, claiming that essential oils can cure cancer would be very misleading to a lot of people. This misleading claim, you know, because there are so many causes for cancer and so many types of cancer, as people are so different that one person's experiment, experience will not always be like another's. But no one can argue with the fact that the healthier you and your cells in your body are, the more potential you have to overcome a disease or ailment like cancer. However, this, um, however, essential oils can help in, you know, if you run into an illness like that, essential oils can help you find strength, like in the face of cancer. I've seen some pretty healthy people live through and emerge from cancer. Their improved wellness certainly played an important role in that. It improved their chances. Um, in the cancer game, there are no guarantees. It's just a balance of factors, and your wellness is probably one of the strongest factors. Now, let me share with you some fantastic knowledge about essential oils that our scientists have put together so far. Essential oils are made up of many compounds. Compounds of essential oils can be broken down into subcategories. A lot of these categories are monoterpenes, uh, you know, whether they have a monoterpene backbone or a sesquinterpene backbone, or esters, alcohols, ketones, polyphenol, propenes, phenols, aldehydes, monoterpenes, esters. The list of difficult words to pronounce goes on and on. The cool thing is what we're learning is about these specific reliefs can be linked to these categories. Looking around, looking at the individual constituents and comparing that to the therapeutic benefit that we experience from these those essential oils, and with that constituent as the main ingredient, we see a correlation between the constituent and the therapeutic benefit. Aha! Chemical explanation. The idea is that even, you know, this is becomes even more sophisticated because a lot of essential oils have many, many constituents. I want to wait, say a little bit in closing here about um, making claims about potential essential oil properties. Essential oils pr production is not regulated, but making a claim is because essential oils are marketed as supplements and food rather than drugs, it's not legal to make a claim called a diseased claim based on you know, this industrial age thought that only drugs can cure and not food. Um, there are so many benefits to essential oils that can't be claimed because of this limitation that we have. And in a way, this is a good limitation because there, there are a lot of products out there on the market that don't have those abilities. Now you see here a wheel concerning emotional therapeutic balance um, benefits. This is allowed because emotion happens to be something that everyone has and it's not considered a disease or a sickness. And so we can make claims that essential oils can help with emotions very easily. Thus, it goes to follow that just because a claim is not being named doesn't mean that is not there is not a benefit that the essential oil has. For now, we can stick with making approved claims from standards of the, the FDA disclaimers. Um, and I'll just read that disclaimer to you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. That has to be something that governs all claims that are made about essential oils. But just go to no, go to just understand that behind that, you know, there are some benefits that just can't be claimed.
Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.